Okay, hello everyone. I'm back today to share some empties and half empties with you. I did just record this and it was incredibly long. My kids were being super loud in the background, so I just decided to redo it. I'm gonna try to be concise so it's not extremely long for not that much wax. So I'm gonna get right into it. Um, the first thing I have is a half empty in Stargazing from Scentsy. This is the July scent of the month. And the notes are, I have them here because I wanted to show you. Um, it says, star his petals shine through fluffy cotton and soft vanilla clouds, making all your celestial dreams come true. Celestial, celestial, celestial. Guys, how do I say it? I feel, or how is it supposed to be pronounced? Because I feel like no matter how I say it, it doesn't sound right making all your celestial dreams come true. I don't know, but anyway, I like when they do the scent of the month like this because they show you all of the notes that are in it, and I wish they would do that for all of the scents. Um, so the top notes in here are silky iris, white flowers, star kiss petals, mid notes are fluffy cotton and vanilla clouds, and the base notes are creamy sandalwood and white musk. So you definitely get, like if I just saw star kiss petals fluffy cotton and vanilla clouds like I might still want to try it but I feel like if they threw the sandalwood in there and like I don't know it would I, I just wish they would put the notes on like all of the notes on all of the scents okay but anyway this to me smells like fuzzy blanket like it's in that family if you like fuzzy blanket if you've tried it before you would like this um, it's definitely like, I guess they have it in the fresh category, which is where I would put it. Um, it has like a laundry tone. Yeah, it's like a warm, comfy blanket, like a clean, warm blanket. But I definitely get the sandalwood in here, and I love that. Um, so this is really nice. I did put this in my bedroom, and I forgot about it. So I only went in there once and smelled it throughout the day. It was like a 7 out of 10, but I completely forgot to like check back in on it when we went to bed and stuff. So I... I don't know about like longevity and everything. I'm gonna have to melt it again and see, but it is really nice. I think I have Fuzzy Blanket in my club right now. And if I like that just as much next time I melt it, I might just take Fuzzy Blanket out because I have several bars of this one, but we'll see. Okay, um, then I have a clam from Super Tarts and Darth Maul. This is strawberries, tea and cakes, and pie crusts. There's just one cube left in here. I'll have to throw that in my tea light warmer at some point. I love this scent. It's like tea and cakes, but elevated. It's perfect for summer for me. It's a very summery bakery scent. Definitely not like um, something that I would melt in fall or winter. It's definitely more of a summertime foodie scent for me. Um, yeah, I guess that's all there is to say about it. It's strong. It's, it's like an eight or nine out of 10. And I have a couple from the bathing garden. This is strawberry nonsense. I did one cube in my tea light warmer. This is like strawberry zucchini bread. I forget what else. I will say that a lot of the clamshells lately have been smelling like, I don't know. They just have the smell to them. I don't know if it's plastic or... I mean, I guess it's just like a plasticky smell. But anyway, there's that clam. And this smelled really good. This was like a 9 or 10 out of 10 with one cube in my tea light warmer. Um, so I do really like this. I would repurchase this again. Um, it will probably take me a little bit to get through this because I'll probably continue to just do one cube in my tea light warmer at a time. But it is really nice. Great performer. Smells great. So that would probably be a repurchase. Um, then I have Frolic from the Bathing Garden. 
I forget what the notes are on this. It's to me it smells like patchouli and orange, maybe. Mm, I don't know. Kind of like patchouli and orange, a little soapy, a little floral maybe. I don't know, but it was like a five out of ten. So not super strong. I'm going to try it in my Sensi Accord and see if it does better because I would like to get a better feel for what this actually smells like. Um, and I just didn't get that in my tea light warmer. So we will see. It doesn't feel like it's a repurchase right now. The next one is Milk and Honey Cake from The Bathing Garden. And there's that clam. This one smells good. I'm really picky with honey. Sometimes it can be too much for me. Mm, but this smells really good. I definitely get the honey. It's like a warm honey and then I get like a steamed milk. And maybe like cardamom or nutmeg. I don't know. It's not like spicy cinnamon or anything. It's really nice. And this was strong also like an 8 out of 10 in my tea light warmer. I would maybe repurchase this. Obviously I have some to melt through. Um, but once I try this a few more times, I'll figure out if I need to repurchase or not. It does smell really nice. Okay, then I have from K. I have one of my customs, Jilly. This is Beach Sunset Heat and Wildflower Honey. I absolutely am obsessed with this blend. It is so good for summer. Um, oh my goodness, I would bathe in this. It's so good. Like, I would love to have a, a perfume in this. Um, to me, I mentioned this in my last video, I think. I, I keep melting this because I'm obsessed. But to me, it smells like that like perfect woman at the beach. You can smell her suntan lotion. You can smell her beachy perfume. And I think I said like she used a floral honey shampoo. Um, it just smells like this beachy woman. I don't know. It smells so good. I will definitely repurchase that. That was pretty strong um, in my Scentsy Warmers this time. That was like an 8 out of 10. So that will be a summer repurchase for me probably every year. Okay, I have one here from L3 Roxy Wonders. This is Watermelon Sugar High. I believe this is just watermelon and strawberry. I don't know which strawberry it is, but I do like it. So it's not a chapstick strawberry. It's also not a... Jolly Rancher or Hairspray kind of watermelon. It's also not a realistic watermelon. It's somewhere in between the two. So it's one that I can do. I actually did really enjoy this, which I wasn't sure I was going to, um, but I did enjoy that. I've mentioned before that with the air and the fans going, a lot of my scents from the kitchen get pulled out into the living room, and that did happen with this one. So in the kitchen where I had it melting, it wasn't very strong, but in the living room, it was like a 9 out of 10, like it, it overtook. So I didn't even put a scent in the living room while I melted that, I just let that one go. Um, and I enjoyed it. I would probably repurchase that in like a bitty loaf again or maybe bunts or something for like next summer it's not one that i'll melt all year so this will be enough for this summer and then i would probably grab some next summer okay then i have nag champa from rose girls this is just you know the incensey kind of powdery scent um i love nag champa yeah really really nice it's it is a little powdery um but i love i just love kind of like head shop any kind of head shop scent i love so it's also a little just like a touch soapy but that could just be because i've smelled so much not champa soap in my lifetime um so it may just remind me of that but i would repurchase this um, I don't know if other vendors have that, 
as a single oil. Maybe I should check K. I don't know that I saw it on her list though. Um, but I would probably just repurchase it from Rose Girls because it's strong. It smells great. So that is that. Um, yeah, it's like an 8 out of 10 on strength. Okay, then I have, oh, I missed one from L3. I have light blue type. I tried this in, where did I try this? The first time I tried it in the bathroom, the second time I tried it in my tea light warmer. It's like a five out of 10. I cannot get this to throw and I really want it to. Um, so I think next time I'm gonna finish this up in my Sensi Accord and see how it does in there. It smells great. It's just that perfumey scent. I just don't smell it much while it's melting so that was it's kind of disappointing but i'm hoping in my accord it will be much stronger then i have duchess from hayden row this is lavender tassie and i believe white clouds mm, yeah lavender tassie is so good it's like super strong like almost astringent lavender and i love that so much um, and then with the white clouds, it's just like this fluffiness added to it. This was strong also like an 8 out of 10. I would repurchase this. This was just a souffle. I feel like I maybe should have grabbed a loaf in this, but it was my first time trying it. So I would maybe grab a loaf next time it comes around. But honestly, I really just need another souffle. Like that would be fine. Um, but that is wonderful. Um, and then I melted If You Seek Amy from Vintage Chic Scents. This was from her Free Britney pre-order in May. Um, so this is Patchouli Orange and Dragon's Blood. So it's kind of, you know, a headshot blend. Mm, I absolutely love it on cold. It is so good. Yeah, it's definitely Patchouli Orange and Dragon's Blood. So if you like those scents, if you like head shoppy type scents, try this one. I would maybe repurchase this. It was fairly light. I just did a little bit in my tea light warmer and it was like a five out of 10. So this is another one that I may try in my Accord and see if it's stronger. Um, I could, you know, I'll, I'll probably let this sit for a little while also, but we'll see. Um, I would possibly repurchase if it gets a little bit stronger for me. Um, then I have, I melted these two together actually. Um, this is Coachella from Empire Alchemy. This is Karma, Lush Type, Juicy Tangerine, and Blue Spruce. This is another, to me, like head shoppy type scent. Just very fresh, earthy. Mm, a little incense-y. This is really nice though. This is definitely more um, like of a fresh scent than the If You Seek Amy. Like this is definitely more um, head shop incense-y type situation. And then this one is a little more fresh with that juicy tangerine and or, or blue spruce. Um, you definitely smell the tangerine and the blue spruce in here with that karma type. It's just, it's so nice. And this one was pretty strong. It was like a seven out of 10. So I would maybe repurchase that one. Um, we'll see once I get through that if I need more, but it's, I do like it. The next one I have is Lori Strode. This is Sweet Innocent Perfume Musk Toasted Marshmallow and Blue Button Down Shirt, sorry. <laughs> Um, I've been wanting to try this one for so long and I finally got some and I finally melted it. Yeah, and it is nice. Um, it's definitely, it's, I don't necessarily want to say laundry. It's more perfumey, musky to me. Um, but it does smell like a freshly like pressed like chambray shirt with like perfume sprayed on it. Um, so I do like it, but I will say that the strongest note to me was the toasted marshmallow. When I walked into the kitchen where I had this melting, it was like toasted marshmallow 
right away in my face and then a little bit of that perfumey, that like crisp musk perfumey scent. So I'm going to try this one in my Scentsia Cord Warmer in my bedroom and I'm going to see if I like it better in there because I do feel like I would enjoy this more in my bedroom rather than the kitchen. So that may be a repurchase depending on how I like it in my bedroom. But again, it takes me forever to get through stuff, so I will probably have this for a while. Okay, so that's all the half empties. Then I just have some empties. Oh, knock everything over. Okay. Um, I have one clam from Scentsy and Candy Cane Wishes. This is just a really nice peppermint candy cane scent. Mm, yeah, I love it. It reminds me a little bit of the white Tic Tacs, which is like a very nostalgic scent for me. So that may be why I love this so much. But I think it was a pretty popular scent last year. So I'm hoping they bring it back in the fall and winter. I did have this in my club, obviously, but I took it out. Um, so I'm hoping it comes back because I would like to have more of this. And I, I feel like a lot of people liked it. So I think it might come back. Um, we'll see. This was like a 9 or 10 out of 10 in my kitchen. Really good. Really nice, crisp peppermint. Love it. Okay. The next clam I have, the last clam I have is Poser Spa from Super Tarts. This is cucumber, fresh mint, beach florals, ocean air, melon, and spearmint. I don't think I'm a big fan of this one. Like, it does smell very fresh, um, but I don't know if maybe she uses a cucumber melon oil in here, and that's just not really my favorite. I feel like I smell that in here, so well, I do really like the fresh mint, the beach florals, the ocean air, the spearmint. I could do without the cucumber and the melon in here, so I don't think that will be a repurchase, but it was, I did this, I had one piece left, so I just threw it in my tea light warmer. It was like an 8 out of 10. Okay, then I just have some bags. The first one is Shy Guy from Rose Girls. I believe this was Spearmint um, Shaving Cream and Pine, I want to say. And that sounds amazing to me. And it, it was okay. I think maybe her Pine, I think it was Pine. But I think maybe her pine was just, it's off to me. It's just not right to me. Um, so this wouldn't be a repurchase while I did like the spearmint and the shaving cream. Um, or maybe it was the spearmint that was off. I don't know. Something in here just didn't smell right. But it won't be a repurchase. It was strong though. Like 8 out of 10. My Sensia Cord. Um, then I have Lavender Frost from L3. So this one I kind of go back and forth on. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't like it. This time it wasn't my favorite. I think it's the sugar cookie in here. Um, did I even tell you what it is? It's Lavender Christmas Trees Vanilla Bean Noel Sugar Cookie and Toasted Mallow. I think the sugar cookie for some reason gives me like mustard vibes. Like a stone ground mustard. I don't know. I feel like I would really just like the lavender Christmas trees and vanilla bean noel. Like I think that would be perfect. So I would maybe want to try that sometime. But I don't think I need to get this one again. It was like a 7 out of 10 on strength. Um, The next one... Queen of Hearts. Oh wait, this was a sugar scrub. I forgot to take it out again. <laughs> I put this in here. I don't know why, but I, I mean, it smells really great. I love her sugar scrubs. Um, I think this is like a rose, a rose jam, some kind of rosy blend. I really like it. I'm using it um, in my shower currently, but I don't know how this got in my wax empties, but it is really nice. Okay, the next one is from Destination Wax. This is Blackberry and Magnolia. Sweetened Blackberries and Magnolia. Sweetened Black... Sweetened Blackberries and Magnolia. A beautiful, mellow, floral scent. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I do like this scent. I've gotten this sample a couple times. It is a very pretty um, blackberry magnolia scent. It's more floral perfume than it is blackberry to me. But I like it. I melted this in my bathroom. It was like a 6 or 7 out of 10 and I just don't think I need to repurchase it but I don't mind it. Like if I got it as a sample again I would enjoy melting it. I may even want to like blend this with something. We'll see. But it's okay. Um, then I have Lemon Claw from The Pharmacist's Daughter. This smelled amazing on cold so I couldn't wait to melt it. It's just like lemon curd and fizzy pop or something like something along those lines. And I've been really craving like lemon fizzy pop blend so it smells really nice on cold. I mean it smelled good on warm too. It just wasn't very strong. It was like a 5 out of 10. I've been having some issues with my pharmacist daughter wax and getting it to throw. Um, but I haven't tried any of my Accord yet so I'm going to do that. But if I end up getting the best throw in my Accord, then I will continue to repurchase, but I'll just repurchase scents that I know I'll like to melt in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the scent. It just wasn't super strong. Um, maybe I should try. I don't know. I've, I've looked for more Accords. They're hard to come by at like a reasonable price. So if I come across more, I think I'm going to pick up one or two more. Anyway, this is Comfort Zone from Rainbow Melts. It's bergamot, apple, sparkling citrus, patchouli, and musk. I get none of those notes from this. Um, to me, this smells like a little bit like jammy time, a little bit like fuzzy blanket, but it really smells like the scent shorts and sweater. Is it shorts and sweater or shorts and sweaters? Sh whatever that scent is from Hayden Row. It smells like that to me like a lot um so i do really like this i like that scent it just doesn't smell like these notes it's just like a very cozy um comforting laundry blend and yeah i enjoy it it's just it's, it doesn't smell like those notes but this was strong this was like an eight out of ten and it was good i don't know that i need to repurchase it i, w I would maybe if it were offered I haven't placed a Rainbow Melts order in a while and I would like to. I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I've been holding off. Um, okay, anyway, the last thing I have is Violet and Governor with Pineapple from Super Tarts. I just hauled this this morning in my Super Tarts haul, but I couldn't wait to melt it. I technically should have put this in next week's empties, I guess, but I, I just threw it in here. Um, so I really liked this on cold. That's why I wanted to melt it so quickly. Yeah, and still, the bag, it, it smells so good. But on warm, I have it in here right now. Um, at first, when I first put it in, it smelled amazing. It started throwing super strongly, like, immediately as soon as it hit the, the dish. Um... It was like a 9 out of 10, like filling the kitchen. But an hour or two in, all I could smell is like a sweet pineapple. And that's just not something that I enjoy. I really liked the peppermint with the clean cotton with the lemonade with the pineapple. I liked it all together. But all I'm really getting now is the sweet pineapple. So I actually, as soon as I started melting this, I went on the site to see if she had any more Governor with Pineapple listed, and she did, um, but I'm glad I didn't, like, pull the trigger right away because now I'm just not sure that I need any of it. I, yeah, I don't know. I, it just kind of turned into one of those just, like, fruity scents that I don't really like. Um, but I would still like to try Violet on its own and Governor on its own because I think I would like both of them separately. Um, but yeah, super strong. Just it, it, the sense that I liked in here fizzled out super quickly. So I, I don't think I need any more of that. 
Okay, that is everything. Hopefully that was a little shorter than the first attempt. Um, yeah, I mean, I still feel like it's a good amount. We, I wasn't home Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so three days of not melting and I still got through some stuff, so I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.